Say you have to go to your friend's place. So the first thing you need to do is to hop into a car. But before you start driving erratically, you gotta put the location into your GPS. So once that's all set, you exit the driveway with the car and start heading to your friend's place. As you're driving, you periodically take a look at the GPS just to make sure that you're on track. Otherwise, if you don't pay attention to the GPS, you might make a wrong turn or take a longer route and basically waste a lot of time and energy for something that could have been preventable. So obviously it makes sense to keep track while you're driving, right? But when it comes to tracking our life and our life values, we tend to forget about that completely. And then we wonder why we're living the life that we're not entirely happy with. The thing is, you have to be conscious when it comes to building your life. And the best way to do that is by keeping track of the values you want to live by. So in this video, we're going to do my quarterly review. So every quarter, which is every three months, I like to take a review of my life values and see whether I'm progressing, taking a step back, stalling, or whatever. And the reason why I like to do this is just to make sure that I'm committed to myself and to the type of life I want and to the type of person I want to be. And again, that requires an active effort on my part. So every three months, I sit down, take a look at my values, and then do a little bit of analysis from there. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is my two sets of value, where one is the type of person I wanna be and the type of life that I want. All right, so here we have the type of life I want, or in other words, my living principles. They are have self-respect, respect in all relationships, family, friendships, romantic, peaceful home environment, minimal life drama, focusing on joy rather than happiness, pursuing and cultivating the heroic manhood, questioning my thought process before big decisions. For the type of person I want to be, it is well-read, well-traveled, can box, social, profitable online business, fit, strong friendships with a select few, creative, public speaker, zest for life, no fap, heroic manhood, non-needy. So for the type of life I want to be or my living principles, uh, I'm going to just be talking about where I was sorely lacking and one of the places I was kind of sorely lacking was heroic manhood and the reason why I say that was that there was a few significant moments where instead of adopting the heroic man, uh, a heroic mindset, I kind of backed off. I cowered away. And even though despite the fact that I showed the, you know, the heroic uh, mindset in many other moments, but the problem was for those moments, they were insignificant. For the moments that were significant, I backed off. And previous quarters, I didn't have an issue with that per se, but this, this most recent quarter, I did. And so that's something that I'm gonna have to keep a track of and be mindful of that no matter how significant a moment is, I need to lean into that heroic aspect of myself and really commit to that heroic manhood that I so dearly uh, love. So that was one aspect. Another area I was sorely lacking was um, the respect and family relationships. Um, and particularly just my relationship with my one difficult parent. Again, uh, even though it wasn't many times, but there was one or two t uh, moments where I let that parent kind of bully me and dictate what, basically just bully me, let's just put it that way. And yeah, I don't know why. Um, I guess it's just more of a sense where that one parent's still a boogeyman for me and I, and I still need to work on developing courage to those those very sensitive relationships. And that's something I gotta keep mindful. Really, you can, you can see my trend here is like, lacking courage in those significant moments where I need courage the most. So that's something that I need to keep track of. And I have no shame in sharing that because 
Uh, before I move on to the next part, I just want to tell you guys that it takes an active effort to become the person you want to be. And there's going to be highs and there's going to be lows. But as long as you're committed, the et- you're, you're going to be satisfied with yourself at the end. And even right now, even though I'm a little disappointed with, with not um, acting out some of these living principles that I put forward for myself, I'm still happy that I'm able to hold myself accountable. And that's only going to reinforce me in committing to this journey, all right? But anyways, let's get to the second part, which is the type of person I want to be. All right, so for the type of person I want to be, one area where I kind of um, been stalling and procrastinating has been the owning a profitable online business. And the reason why I, I've been struggling in that sense is the fact that um, I have an ebook that I'm working on. It took me forever to finish last part. And I still have to edit it, but anyways, the whole, the whole theme is I've been procrastinating and I've been lazy and that's something where I'm proud of and can't wait for that, can't wait for that to be my first um, um, ebook to put up to, uh, to get paid. It'll be, it'll be inexpensive so don't worry about that guys. But yeah, just I'm not really making any efforts to put items out for sale and I think it's just more the sense where I'm just being lazy. That's honestly what it is, and I, th- I think what I gotta, I gotta do is give myself a hard deadline and commit to it. So, and I did that, I did that recently. So, hopefully, no, actually, not, not say hopefully. Within six months, you should be seeing one of my eBooks for sale. Uh, another thing that I've kind of again been kind of stalling or procrastinating is the public speaking aspect. I, I love public speaking. Um, I've joined Toastmasters in the past before, but didn't really like it. So in this case, I don't know if that's something that I'm committed to, and I think that's something I gotta be a little more honest with. I think one of the substitutes for that was me being on YouTube where I'm able to flex my public speaking skills, but that's only to an extent. So that's something I gotta decide whether I wanna keep or not, because I do wanna keep it. I, I can't just have it there not do anything. I gotta commit and take action. So that's something for me to really think about. And uh, lastly, you saw on the type of person I want to be, it's a heroic manhood. And I touched upon this earlier in the type of life I want. Again, I did tend to be cowardly in those significant moments. And again, that's on me to make sure that I rise to the occasion, really bring the, my best self out when I feel that fear and anxiety. All right. So again, guys, this is a, just a kind of a brief overview of how my quarterly reviews goes. Obviously, I go a lot more in depth, but that's just for my sake. And uh, the reason why I think you should start having your own quarterly review is because it's not easy trying to be the best version of yourself. It's not easy, yet we tend to employ very lazy methods. We just think, oh, you write down a goal and you're good. It actually involves a lot more. And when you have these quarterly reviews, it's basically putting a mirror in front of you and showing you what you lack. And to bring up my step daddy, Baltasar Gracian, he has an excellent aphorism with regards to that. Know what you lack. Many an individual would be a truly rounded person if they weren't lacking that something without which they'll never reach the height of perfection. With some, you can see they'd amount to something if they paid attention to a few small things. Some lack gravity, and this tarnishes their talents. Others lack gentleness, something colleagues immediately miss, and especially in those in important positions. Some need speed of execution, others more restraint. All these flaws, if they are noticed, can easily be made good for care can make habit a second nature. As you can see, my stepdaddy put it perfectly. But jokes aside, you guys have to remember that it's on you to hold yourself accountable. It's on you to be tracking your progress. It's on you to make sure that you're becoming the person you wanna be and living the life that you want. Because it doesn't take much to steer off in the wrong direction and spend countless time there and then you look back and wondering why and you know I hate bringing up rap lyrics but J. Cole has a perfect lyric that really uh, summarizes the, that aspect of when you're going the wrong way it goes something like this the good news is you came a long way 
The bad news is, you went the wrong way. That lyric is in the song I Love Yours by J. Cole, and when I heard, first heard that lyric, it pierced my heart. It hit me because it reminded me of those 10 years that I wasted. 10 years of energy and time that I put in and realizing that I was in the wrong, I was going the wrong way. And like I said guys, it doesn't take much to be going the wrong way, so it's on you to make sure that you're tracking yourself and reorienting or recalibrating yourself when you need to. And I can't stress this enough, being the best version of yourself is not easy and it shouldn't be easy. Because for the very few that actually you know, become the best version of themselves, where they're honest and authentic, they just stand out. And all these average and mediocre people cannot compare. It's not even, it's like comparing apples to oranges. It's completely different. So they're like a different species of an individual. Again, but to get to that level requires work, constant work. It's a work that's gonna keep going until the day you die. And the funny part about it is that it's all gonna be satisfying. It's all going to be enjoyable. And that's the beauty of it. It's not like finding the treasure, the success, the value and the worth that you find is in the journey because you are your journey. And don't ever forget that, all right? So anyway, guys, I know it's been kind of, it's not a kind of high, funny or corny video, but just want to show you that, hey man, I'm human. I mess up, but I, that's not a good enough excuse. I still have to hold myself accountable and make sure that I learn from my mistakes. And I just hope that you take inspiration from this as well too. But other than that, guys, please don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my e-newsletter. I'm just blabbing around today. But anyways, guys, don't forget, you're not just any type of nerd. You're a charismatic nerd. <laughs>